Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of October 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call so you can request a call back. Um, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings as well as additional content. And check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Page of Pentacles. We have the Sun. We have the Hanged Man. Then we have the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Mm, okay. So things may have been like stagnant with you, or maybe you had been uh, somewhere between, uh, in between feeling like you know, either you want a relationship or you want to remain si single. Um, but it does seem like you've come to some sort of realization or maybe something's confirmed that uh, an earth sign is somehow significant in your life or that you have a spiritual connection with an earth sign. Um, I feel like you're also, you were holding on to maybe some old beliefs and I feel like now there's this willingness to let those beliefs go or those ideas go. Um, something's going on where it feels like you are like embracing a new you or there's like this renewed energy. Um, if you are single yeah, it just still, it looks like there is this indecisiveness of if you're wanting to be in a relationship or not. And I feel like one minute you want commitment, the next thing you're not ready. Now, also, this could be someone coming in and out of your life like that. Like one minute they're talking about they want to be in a commitment and the next minute they're like, no, I'm not ready. Uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, I feel too like somebody is lurking or keeping tabs, uh, trying to see what you're up to. But I feel like somebody is about to get caught up in their own trap uh, or there's a form of self-sabotage getting ready to happen. Um, If someone, if you're in a relationship, it's possible that you could get caught. So, you know, or somebody is tracking you, like there's a tracking device on the car or someone is keeping tabs about who you're interacting with on the phone. Mm, someone does seem to keep sending mixed signals though. One minute there coming towards you, the the next minute they're running away from you or avoiding you, um, or maybe that's how you're being viewed by someone. Hmm. If you're in a situation where you're trying to decide if you should stay or if you should go, um, I feel like you're staying for now, but you're also, I feel like you're setting something up just in case like you're like this is a backup plan like just in case this doesn't work out i'm gonna go ahead and set up a dating account or just in case it doesn't work out i'm gonna go ahead and, and take this person's number um so i feel like somebody is like setting something up to like leave or let go or like just something is just in case um you may be dealing with someone or you might be that type of person that likes to set up the next relationship before you exit out of the next one the the current one um yeah 
I also feel like if it's not cheating, someone likes to sneak off to be by themselves. Um, or they feel like they can't share this with their partner. They're like, my par partner doesn't understand um, that I, you know, I like to do this. I like to go fishing or I like to um, go to the movies by myself. I like to whatever. So I feel like there's some maybe something that you want to do by yourself, but you feel like your partner doesn't get you or doesn't understand that side of you. So you do it alone or you sneak off to do it or there. That's what your partner's doing. Hmm. I keep feeling like somebody is planning an escape, though, an escape route. Somebody is like, no, this is just in case this doesn't work out. I've got an escape route. Like, I'm not staying with this if I don't have to. Um, somebody may have a very detached approach to relationships. Spiritually, I feel like somebody is remote viewing you, especially if this person works in government or if you work in government, you might be doing this. Mm, but I feel like someone like spies in ways that are more so metaphysical. Um, hmm. I feel like you may not be ready for relationships. Some of you aren't. Somebody isn't ready. Somebody's like, um, no, I don't think I'm ready. I need to think about it. Let me let this process. Being by myself is too much fun. Um, so yeah. I also feel like somebody is like pouring their heart out and it's very hard for them to do this or say the things that they're saying or it's very awkward. Yeah, somebody is like kind of bad at expressing how they feel. I feel like something's coming out wrong. It's like, oh, that came out wrong. Um, for some of you, there is an ex that's lurking and is still thinking about you and feels hurt or betrayed by you. Yeah, somebody isn't ready to talk. I feel like, too, there's this opportunity to open up with somebody and then you might turn it down. You're like, eh, that's okay. Never mind. So for some of you, it is a situation where it's hard letting go. Um, it's like every time you try to move on from this person, um, somehow you end up back communicating with them. Uh, someone is still carrying on with some sort of shenanigans, still saying stuff just because it sounds good, something doesn't hold water. Mm. Somebody is the same, it's the same pattern. It's the same cycle. Mm. There is somebody who has a relationship and I feel like this person keeps saying that they're leaving, but they never do. You may have tried to walk away from this person because they keep doing this. 
I also feel that you may have stopped communicating with somebody because of their lies um, or you're trying to avoid communicating with this person. If somebody ghosted you, it's because they have another family or because they went back to this person that they were in a relationship with, especially if it's someone that they had a child with. Some of you keep thinking or dreaming about your soulmate and feeling like you're supposed to be together and wondering why you're not. Yeah. You may be trying to um, recover from a broken heart. Maybe you're taking a time out from somebody, but this always happens. This is like ongoing. This is some sort of repeated pattern that you and this person have. You say you're sorry, you say you're not going to do it again, or they do. You end up together, and then something happens, and you're, again, going your separate ways. But you just keep going back, and it's, you know, repeat on repeat. Uh, I do feel like someone is your soulmate. It's possible that you guys are supposed to heal each other by establishing trust or they're at least helping you to realize you know that there's been trust issues in your relationships i really feel like too there's somebody that's just preparing you for the next they're like a place holder Yeah, it's kind of like this is just practice. Hmm. Somebody may have a tendency to over drink or overeat like they can't really handle their liquor um, or someone is indulging excessively in food and drink to fulfill an emotional void. Something could be going on with an, uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, or your love interest has some sort of um, karmic obligation to fulfill with an air sign before they can be with you or vice versa. Feel like somebody is waiting for the other person to be single. You may have blocked someone because you're, you know, just done with lies or you don't want someone spying on you anymore. Like you could have blocked someone. Maybe you also deleted somebody. You also, if you're the one that's been spying or snooping, you might be trying to cover your tracks by deleting or clearing your cookies or um, something that you're doing. You're trying to cover your tracks. You're erasing something that you did you also may have posted something and then decided to delete it 
you just wanted somebody to see it or they just wanted you to see something before they deleted it. Mm. Definitely something going on with fire and air. Hmm. But it looks like you're moving on from a fire sign or you as a fire sign are the one that's like cutting ties with people or having closure. But, you know, it looks like you're going to be happier. You, you're like, no, I'm glad I avoided this relationship or this person. Yeah, I feel like you really, you blocked somebody from seeing your information because you were aware that somebody just kept snooping. Maybe they even said something that didn't line up. You're like, this is, you know, a fake profile or this person, I know this is really so-and-so. Yeah, so those are the messages that I'm getting for you guys, but hopefully something has resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.